Hi Scorpio, what's up? Welcome to your reading. You're dealing with someone here who you probably had a conflict with, okay? Someone here who probably uh, used to keep sabotaging the connection over and over and over again. This person here wants to come back around. This is definitely someone here who you had an ending with. There was a chapter that came to an end here between you both and now this person here wants to start a brand new chapter with you. I feel for a few of you in their feelings, they could have walked away, they could have tried to move on, but they couldn't. They couldn't. <clears throat> this person is emotionally absolutely dissatisfied, discontent. If this person has a lot of options, they're not happy with the options. And even if the options are around them, they're not entertaining any of them. Take it from you. They're not. They're not entertaining options here because they want you and they, for you, for them, it's like you're the one who got away. So even if things ended between you both here, it's not over between you both just saying. Because this person is very passionate about you. Very attracted towards you. They want to take action towards you. They're only zoned in on you. You know how sometimes we have a breakup, right? And we try to entertain other options here so that we can peacefully move on or properly we just don't go back to that person here, right? But there is unfinished business between you both. <clears throat> Either you could have walked away all of a sudden. You know, you could have just completely cut off because there was negative communication, mind games <coughs> from this person's side. But yeah, they are not happy without you. And they miss you deep down. They want to offer you. I feel if you have given them an offer in the past, they feel bad rejecting your offer. And now if they want to come back around, they feel you are going to reject them. <clears throat> but they have eyes only on you. You complete them. You complete them. They feel very complete with you. They want to give you the world. <clears throat> But this is, I feel I'm reading for the people who you entered a chapter with, okay? This person is not happy without you. Even if they have options, they're rejecting the options. They're not taking any of the opportunities here. Because I feel they tried to walk away from you. Or they tried to move on, but they were not successful. <laughs> yeah, so they're holding on to you. So in their intentions here, they are holding on to you. They're not going to let you go. This person, you know, is someone here who probably is emotionally very, very attached to you, you know. <clears throat> like I said before, if you have given them an offer, they're deeply thinking about it, deeply analyzing the offer. They're very sensitive right now. And one of the reasons why this person chooses to hold back their emotions is because you get hurt, right? They don't want to be vulnerable. <clears throat> they have put in all their intentions to come towards you and express how much they love you. Okay, uh, this person here wants to come towards you. They want to sweep you off your feet and that is in their intentions, which is very nice. I do feel that uh, they want to compromise somewhere, somehow. They don't trust you. <clears throat> they don't trust you. They know it was an empty victory when they let you go. They know that they lost or they sabotaged a very good connection. But <coughs> they do want a peaceful resolution. They do. And they're holding on to you tight. They may not open up. Because we do see the four of pentacles here. They are a closed book here because they don't trust you. They don't want to, you know, overall in these six cards only, I see this is someone here who is either fearing rejection or someone here who does not want to be vulnerable. There's so much love out here. This person, <clears throat> you may not even realize how much this person loves you because with the queen of cups here, that's a very, um, very, very deep emotion. Okay, very deep emotion. You're someone very, very sensitive out here. This person could have been hurt in the past because of which they are so closed off. <clears throat> What's the five of swords? Yeah. You walked away from this person here because you could be wanting commitment. You could be wanting something stable, something secure. <clears throat> this person knows they screwed up a good connection. Okay. Because they couldn't offer you stability, security. But in their intentions here, they have it all in their intentions to come towards you and, you know, uh, compromise. This person wants a resolution and probably even a reconciliation. Okay, what are this person's actions towards um, <coughs> Scorpio? 18 to 30th. This person's actions towards Scorpio. 18 to 30th. <coughs> you know, the kind of person you're dealing with, right, could still be sabotaging the connection here. You know why? Because they just, it's ego. There's like an ego battle here. <coughs> Wow. 
Wow, emperor and empress. You have a divine masculine and a divine feminine. This person wants to marry you. <clears throat> right off the bat, they want to marry you. This person here and their actions, they're ready to come in and take control of the situation here. Uh, with the queen of wands here, this person was just waiting to gather their shit together. Okay. We have the king of wands, queen of wands. We have the emperor and the empress here, which means that there's an equal amount of passion out here. You both are equally attracted to each other here. <coughs> and um, they're trying to manifest this relationship into 3D, you know, like a marriage, like a commitment out here. Uh, you may have to wait and watch because I don't see them taking any literal action towards you. Right now, they are getting into that confident state of mind about what they should do, what the next step should be, okay? I feel they see you as very focused on yourself, you know? They see you as not giving a shit to them. So you are very successfully manifesting them, Scorpio, if right now either you've moved on or you're just very focused on your work, your career, your goals, you're focused on self-love, you're just doing you. If you're doing that, you're manifesting this person back directly or indirectly, okay? You're successful, they're coming back. <clears throat> I feel the good part out here is that this person here is uh, planning, ready to take a risk. Earlier, I think this person was giving up too soon or probably it was a failed long distance relationship where they felt long distance couldn't work or probably they felt it was something was too much work here. Now, this person here is waiting. They're planning their big next move towards you. Okay. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Gemini had something similar like this. But yeah, they are ready to take action here. Uh, they know what they want and um, <clears throat> they find you very attractive right now. It is a very slow moving process. Okay, whatever they want with you, with the empress out here, this person definitely wants something long term with you. Okay, they see you as spouse. They see you as marriage material out here. But with the emperor and the empress here, this is definitely a divine couple. Okay, you can't shake this off. They can't shake this relationship off. All right. So whoever you had an ending with out here, they try to either explore their options willingly unwillingly because they wanted to move on from you it didn't work out they're coming back they want you all right they know they screwed up big time but they still want you and uh, they want something long term they're thinking very practically about this connection right now okay but there is a lot of passion here and there is a lot of emotions here also <clears throat> their intentions look great but yes the only point they screw up is because they don't trust you they have trust issues okay and they want to win at any cost all right they don't want to come in as a loser they don't want to come in as vulnerable okay ready to take action here but there is this planning out here they're waiting and watching they could be waiting for you to message them or they could be waiting for time to change they could be waiting for them to you know um get some more information here but there is still a wait and watch energy all right. Anyways, it's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone. All right. So take what resonates and leave the rest. That's for you, Scorpio. Hope this reading resonates and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Next time. Next time.